Many of the folks who cruise the Illinois River on the Spirit of Peoria may not be aware that for all of its antique styling, it's a thoroughly modern craft, just over 30 years old. While its old-time predecessors may have been steam-powered, the Spirit gets its go power from a couple of Caterpillar engines. Being uh, built for Peoria, we do have two Caterpillar 3412 generators on board that create all of our AC power. That AC power is then rectified, sent back to two train motors. So it's actually DC-powered train motors that drive the, the paddle wheel. That big paddle wheel at the rear is the only propulsion for the Spirit. There's no props, no thrusters like other boats. Despite being a modern paddle boat, the Spirit of Fury has to contend with some age-old problems of traveling on the Illinois River. When the river is flooded, the boat may have to stay docked. And coming next year, the Army Corps of Engineers plans to close and repair some locks on the Illinois River, and that's going to halt southbound cruises. Unfortunately, we will have to schedule our St. Louis and our Hannibal trips early in June uh, before the closure. On the positive side, it means more local excursions out of Peoria. And the whistle of the spirit will be heard even more frequently. Speaking of which, on a personal note, I have been on the Julia Bell Swain, the Spirit of Peoria, the Delta Queen. One thing I've never gotten to do, though, is this. It's a dream fulfilled. For Destination Illinois, in Peoria, Illinois, I'm Tom McIntyre. <laughs>